This is the industrial grade and highly accurate soil moisture and temperature sensor that works on RS485 protocol. Earlier we used resistance and capacitive soil moisture sensor for many projects. But the problem with this sensor is they have a very short lifespan and they corrode with passage of time. They also have non-linearity issues and don't measure soil values correctly. All these problems are solved by this sensor. The sensor works at 5V only and can be interfaced with any microcontroller using the RS485 communication protocol. In this project, we will be interfacing this sensor with Arduino, Max485 module and OLED display. We will test the value of soil moisture and temperature and display them on OLED display. We will also conduct various tests and figure out if the sensor is perfect or not. So without getting any delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium 365. The Altium 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, AMCAD, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your project over a way for review purposes. Interact with mechanical designer for mechanical design. It also provides centralized cloud storage. It helps you with components management as it has the fastest search engine. It can also allow your team to work together on a single product. Finally, you can send your design to a manufacturing unit. To get started with a free trial, check the first link in the description. Welcome back again. Let's take a look at this center. This center is designed to check soil warmth and wetness. It is compared with high quality German sensor to make sure it is accurate. This sensor is quick to give results and works reliably. One of its best feature is that it can be left in the ground for a long time. It won't corrode and is completely waterproof. The sensor works between the voltage range of 4.5 to 30 volt DC with a typical power consumption of 0.4 watt. The moisture measurement range is between 0 to 100 percent is RH. The temperature it can measure is between minus 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. The probe material is made of 304 stainless steel with IP68 protection class. The sensor can be used in two ways. In the first method, you can insert the three needles in the soil vertically. Make sure the needle does not hit any hard objects. The second method is for long-term usage, in this method, take a bead and bury the center. Once the center reading gets stable, you can use this for several days, months or even longer. To read the soil humidity and temperature value, using this center, we need the following components. I have used Arduino Nanoboard. Since the center output is RS485, we need a Modbus RTU module. This is the Max485 module from Maxim integrated that can be easily interfaced with a Modbus sensor and a microcontroller. To display the measured value, I have used a 0.96 inches I2C OLED display. A breadboard is required as well for prototyping and assembly. Here is the connection diagram for this project. All the connections between Arduino, Max485 and soil sensor are properly defined. I made the same connection in the breadboard as per the circuit diagram. To power the hardware, I used a 5 volt supply from Arduino Nano. Then I developed the sample code to read the sensor values. From the manufacturer dataset, I got to know how to read the center value as all the inquiry frame and response frame is properly explained here. I will display the soil moisture and temperature values in OLED display. Then I uploaded the code to the Arduino Nano board.
Once the code is updated, the OLED will show the room temperature values correctly. But for soil moisture values, it appears zero as it is exposed to dry air. If you touch the needles with your hand, there is conductivity and thus a change can be observed in the OLED display. After removing the fingers, the values go to zero again. To test the sensor in the field, you need to dip the sensor in the soil. But for demonstration, I will use this class of soil. When the sensor is dipped in this mud, you can see there is a change in the soil moisture value. The soil is dry currently and it's showing the quantity of moisture available. When the water content in the soil is increased, there is a rise in soil moisture value displayed on the OLED screen. For field and practical testing, you can dip the sensor in the soil. This is how you can use the soil humidity and temperature sensor with Arduino to read the soil moisture and temperature value. That is all from the video part today. You can purchase this sensor from Rankid's official website. More details on this sensor can be found here as well. The detailed documentation of the project has been published on our website howdelectronics.com. You may go through all the details, specifications, working, schematic, coding, results and demonstration. In case you have doubts, you can ask us questions in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.